some people understand social media and they're able to use it to their advantage. Maybe it's to make themselves famous. Maybe it's to make money. Maybe it's to grow their business. If you understand the technology, you can use it. See, everything has the ability to be a consumer or a producer. Just like that, you can either be the consumer or the producer. See, we're taught in our education system to go to school, get a degree, get a good job, and then hopefully one day be able to retire. And what happens along the way? Well, you go to school and then you get this job. Hopefully you're making decent money, but then you want to spend money. You're never taught how to invest your money. You're never taught how to build wealth. That's a producer, but you're taught to spend because that's all we see happening all around us. All of our friends are buying and financing the nice cars. All of our friends are going on the nice vacations. All of our friends are buying the nice homes even though they can't afford them. All of our friends are going deep into student loans to be able to get that degree. That way they can hopefully one day get a good paying job. That's what everybody does. And so we are never taught to be producers. We are taught to be consumers. Consume, consume, consume. Go to the store, buy the nice stuff. If you can't afford the nice stuff, buy now, pay later. Go to the Gucci store, buy the nice handbag. Can't afford the nice handbag, put it on your credit card. Go out and buy the nice big home. Can't afford the big home, get a bigger mortgage. Can't qualify for the bigger mortgage, get a second loan because it's normal. This is the society that we're living in. And when you do that, you become a consumer to society. You're just spending money, making everybody else rich. When you go and buy the home, you're making the mortgage banker rich. You're making the seller rich. You're making the realtor rich. You're making the title company rich, but it's at your expense. When you go out and buy the car, you're making the car company rich. You're making the financing company rich, but it's at your expense. When you go to Gucci, you're making the Gucci shareholders rich. You're helping the salesperson get rich. You're helping the landlord for Gucci get rich, but it's at your expense. And this is where now financially you have to shift from the consumer mindset to becoming a producer if you ever want to become wealthy. But in order for you to become a producer instead of just a consumer, the first thing you have to realize, something's wrong. I don't want to just keep spending all of my money. Now, maybe you start by just saving some of your money because you're like, you know what? I don't want to spend all my money. I want to keep some of it for myself. So you start saving. And then maybe if you're fortunate enough, you come across a book, you come across a podcast, you come across a YouTube video that sparks your interest to start learning about money because we don't grow up learning about money. Unless you have rich parents to teach you about investing, financial freedom, wealth, cash flow, you're not gonna learn this. Your teachers are not gonna teach this because chances are your teachers don't know anything about this because who's gonna teach them? And so if you don't learn it, you're gonna always be a consumer in society, financially. But that same mindset of just being a consumer applies to everything else. Same with social media. Guess what? The vast majority of people, not just in America, but around the world are just consumers on social media. What are they doing? They're scrolling through social media all day long. Girl, at work, I'm scrolling through social media. I'm in the bathroom, I'm scrolling through social media. I got five minutes before my meeting, I'm scrolling through social media. Sometimes now when you're driving, I'm scrolling through social media. And so what does that do now? You become a consumer of social media. What are you consuming? You're consuming this lifestyle that all of your friends, family, and influencers are projecting, but you're also consuming all the products being sold on social media. You're also consuming the algorithms on social media. One of the things, one of the very valuable pieces of advice that I learned, this is actually from Robert Kiyosaki when I was meeting him, was he was a big advocate of saying Learn from people who disagree with one another. Learn from people with differing points of view. If you hate their mindset, if you hate their point of view, learn from them. And the reason why is because it will teach you. You have to learn from people with differing points of view. That way you can find where intelligence is. Intelligence is somewhere in the middle, but it will help you strengthen your argument. Or maybe you will see their point of view as well. Today, guess what? When you look at the political environment, why has our politics become so polarizing, so aggressive? It wasn't like that 10 or 15 years ago. It wasn't like that before. Before, you used to be able to have debates and discussions to come to conclusions. You didn't have this massive polarizing difference between the right and the left. I didn't even know what the right and the left was until I hit college. Before that, everybody was just people. At least I thought I was a little bit ignorant as well. But... We become so much more polarizing again than going back to social media. It goes back to technology. And this is where your job 
as a human, as somebody who wants to take care of their family, as somebody who wants to take care of their community, your job is to understand what's happening. Understand the changes that are happening. You can't always fight the changes, but learn how to accept and embrace them because they're going to happen. Artificial intelligence is going to happen. Blockchain is happening. We're seeing different social medias happen. These things exist. And so instead of just trying to completely ban these things or being hateful of these things, learn about them. You don't have to spend all your time on them. I have distanced myself from social media pretty drastically. I used to be very involved when I first started the Minority Mindset brand. I was pretty involved in my social media. I was always on Instagram. I was always checking the social media pages. But I became so engulfed on social media that I realized it was unhealthy for me. And that was when I decided to step away. I told my team, I want you to manage my social media. I don't want to touch it anymore. I deleted Instagram off of my phone. I deleted Facebook off of my phone. I took off Snapchat. And it was the first time that I finally started to feel relief because I noticed myself that I needed to keep checking my phone. I was at dinner with my wife and I would be looking at notifications. I'd be seeing how many likes I'm getting on Instagram posts. And she would always call me out. But then eventually I was like, this is not right. I should be spending time with you. I should be present here with you. But instead, my mind is over here. My mind is trying to guess how many likes I got, which is such a, a vanity indicator of anything. It doesn't mean anything. Likes don't mean you're making more money. There are some people with 5,000 followers that are making way more money than people with 500,000 followers. Yes, it's a fact. Can you make money with more followers? Absolutely. But you have to understand what's important for you. And your job now on the financial side of things is not just to be a consumer, but to be a producer. In order for you to be a producer, you have to understand how to use these technologies to your advantage. In order to use these technologies to your advantage, you have to get educated. We're not taught how to learn this in school because school can't keep up with all these growing technologies. School can't keep up with the growth in artificial intelligence. School can't keep up with the growth in social media. School can't keep up with the growth in advertising and digital marketing, which means you're going to have to go out of your way to start learning. Now you go on to YouTube, podcasts, books to start learning. But then it's very easy to go down this rabbit hole of only believing one thing, only learning one side of things. But this is where now, if you really want to be fully educated, you're going to have to learn different opinions, different points of views on whatever it is that you're learning, whether it's artificial intelligence, whether it's money, whether it's investing, whether it's how you earn more money. Learn different points of views because that's where the real intelligence is. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>